All right, let's get more on this game. And the best way to do that, of course, is to welcome back Charlie Casterly with his keys to the game. Charlie, the NFC East, the glamour division in the spotlight on Thursday night with the game in New York. We just heard from Kim. Give me the Eagles' keys here if they're going to bounce back and beat the Giants. Well, number one, don't let Odell Beckham beat you deep. Now, what you like to do is get two people on him, get a safety deep. Hey, you're going to see the corner and high safety are highlighted right here. But he runs right by both of them. And Manning completes the ball deep, which he hasn't done most of this year, to Beckham when he wants to get the deep ball. Here, the safety's got great position, but he misjudges it. You have to run where he's going to be, not where he is. Now, the other way you stop Beckham, you pressure Manning at the mistakes. Pressure on the inside is the thing that bothers him the most. Here comes the pressure. Throws it up. Awful throw there for an interception. He made other throws like this. Pressure Manning. That's how you'll stop Beckham. Number two. Keep Saquon Barkley contained on the run in the past. Here he's turned back into the middle and he has nowhere to run. Now he likes to bounce the ball to the outside. Here, middle's jam, bounce it to the outside. No, you got to contain him. Just turn him back in. He likes to bounce it to the outside. In the passing game, he's a threat. Here, he's got the speed to beat somebody. There he goes, out like a belly, running. Excellent run after the catch. Contain him, especially on the screen pass. All right, and hopefully he's healthy this week after injuring that knee or a little bit or coming up lame there on that touchdown, which was a spectacular play. On the other side, Charlie, if you're the Eagles here, what's the best way to attack that Giants defense? Go after the corners. That's where they have, to me, a real weakness. Here we're going to start with Eli Apple at the cornerback position. Bottom of the screen, not disciplined in technique and concentration. Here he falls for the inside move, beaten to the outside. Janoris Jenkins, he's their best corner, but he's best on press. You get him off, he'll guess. See, see how he turns the wrong way? He can also beat him with double moves. Then, now the Giants, the corners have been struggling, so they go to more zone defense. Here, Newton picks apart the zone, hits the big hole there. They have holes in their zone defense. By the way, safety Landon Collins, attack him deep. He can even beat the pro bowler in their coverage. Charlie, I hate the phrase must win. It, it downplays the significance of all the other games that allegedly are not must win. But the Giants need this, Charlie, so you better give me some good keys. <laughs> well, number one, you got to block that Eagle pass rush. And, boy, they can come at you a number of ways. On the right side here, Brandon Graham. He can beat you with speed and athletic ability, and that's exactly what he does here. They like to blitz. That's another way they can beat you. But the top guy, number 91, defensive tackle, Fletcher Cox. you got to double-team this guy, and that's what Minnesota did here. Guard punches him, center slides to him. Always slide the center to him. By the way, Michael Bennett is an excellent pass rush, too. they got a lot of ways to beat you on the pass rush. Now, how about attacking their secondary? Bottom of the screen, Jalen Mills. Double moves. He couldn't cover him last year. He still can't cover him. Safety Anthony Maddox, who was a corner, misses the tackle there. Now, the other corner. Ronald Darby, number 21. Again, bottom of the screen. I think he can beat him. He lacks concentration at times and technique. Here he gets beaten on the in and out move. I think he can also beat him with speed. Cornerback 22, Sidney Jones. There's a weakness with him too. The nickel cornerback. Yeah, and he also got banged up last week as well. Carson Wentz is clearly everything here. I mean, he's the, he's the engine on this machine. Other than, Charlie, Carson Wentz. What are the Giants most worried about? What do they have to contain here? The tight end position, Andrew, and they have two good ones. It starts with Zach Ertz out here, Super Bowl, top of the screen. You line up in space versus a safety. How oh, safety is going to cover this guy in space? Touchdown, Eagles. Here, they have him in a bunch situation, but again, he's matched up with a safety. Too much quickness and athletic ability for a safety to cover him. But how about the rookie, Dallas Goddard? He's going to come in the bottom of the screen. He's another athletic safety that can run, excuse me, tight end that can run. They have two tight ends there. Those are the two guys the Giants have to stop in the passing game.